I know not everyone gets excited when they find a snake in their yard, but this is one of the snakes that is very beneficial to us. This is a yellow rat snake, and as the name implies, they eat rats, um, but other small rodents as well, the moles that dig up our yards, um, small lizards, uh, even sometimes birds and bird eggs. Um, but so this is a yellow rat snake, and we're gonna um, zoom in here, and you can see it's got these distinctive stripes that go down its back. It's got four stripes, two, two kind of on each side, four stripes that go down the, the length of its body here. And you can tell this is a pretty long snake. So I'm, I'm thinking it's probably full grown or close to full grown. Um, on average, they're about four to five feet long when they're fully grown, um, but they can get upwards of six feet if they are um, very well fed and well nourished. Uh, so this snake here, um, take a look at the at the eye nice rounded eye so one of the things that shows us is non-venomous and you can see here it's sticking its tongue out it's got a forked tongue and it sticks its tongue out to grab the scent particles that are in the air and it brings those back in and touches it to the roof of its mouth and that's how it smells a little different than the way you and I smell um, but one of the things that I want to uh, showcase here is these ab muscles this snake or rat snakes in general get my vote for best abs in the animal kingdom because look at how it is holding its position on this tree. It was headed down and then, you know, still nice and still here. And, but holding itself on that tree for so long, definitely best abs in the animal kingdom for sure. And you'll notice now it's decided it's gonna leave me here. Um, still half of its body up on the tree um, as it's starting to wiggle away. So not being super fast and darting away, do, being very slow and methodical. Um, this is a defense mechanism for this particular snake to, to be uh, as still as possible and to move slowly away from predators um, or, or threats. Uh, but just take a look at how long the snake is. Like I said, it's definitely um, a, a full-grown snake. And I was just surprised to see uh, it coming down my tree when I was outside earlier today. And so it does kind of stand out here. It's trying to find somewhere where it can go blend in again. So I think it's, um, headed, it's headed away from me and headed down towards the marsh where there is some um, Spartina and other things that have um, come, come ashore and are starting to decompose. And it's a nice, nice coloring um, of the snake or similar to the coloring of the snake. So yeah, it looks like that's where we're headed. And we're going to go blend in with... Um, with that area. See how it's, it's starting to blend in very nicely. So again, yellow rat snake, one of our common rat snakes here in, in the coastal plain. And see how well it blends in now. Um, it's not a, a saltwater loving snake, but it is just trying to find some place to blend in right now so that it can uh, get away from me, even though I promise I wasn't trying to hurt him. <laughs>